YouTube is the Squid from the East, the one and only Squid the Beast, and we are back for another news and information on an event happening during London and Osaka Go Fest. I hope you all have a great time at London and or Osaka Go Fest. If you're going to either one, let me know in the comments which one are you going for to. And if you're coming to New York, come say out to your boy because you know it's going to be a fun time. So you got a new event, which is kind of dope. The fact that we're getting a new event while everybody else is at GoFest. So we'll have something while everybody's getting the GoFest hype. And then we'll deviate into the New York hype, which I can't wait for. It's like 21 days away, and I'm so excited to meet you all, meet new people, and just hang around and show you New York and all its luxurious things and places. So, yeah, if you come to New York, let me know, and we can arrange something. I'm probably going to have a meetup, so... Yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyways, we got a new event, so let's talk about it. And then I'll tell you what I'm most excited for for the event. But as always, if you like the video, like the video and share it out. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit. So, yeah, if you can share the video out. That would be amazing. So let's get into the event, shall we? All right. So we got the Glittering Garden event, which is dope. It's a new event. So, yeah. And it features Petalil and Lilligan from what I've understand so far. But yeah. Alright. Trainers, a magical time awaits you in Pokemon Go. Here's to frolic and play. Some of the grass type and fairy type Pokemon appearing during Pokemon Go Fest 2023. Osaka and Pokemon Go Fest 2023. London will be appearing globally during the Glittering Garden event. Plus, for the first time, trainers around the world will be able to encounter shiny Petalil if you're lucky. Good shiny. I love Lilligan. Lilligan is one of my favorite mons, so I'm excited for that. Date and time is starts, of course, Saturday, August 5th, 2023 at 10 p.m. local time. Wait, what? Oh, yes. London and Osaka time. Right. Ends Tuesday, August 8th, 8 p.m. local time. So I'll probably have my, maybe Monday to play the event and a little bit of Saturday and a little bit of Sunday. Wait, no. I'll be home by the time it starts. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Anyways, we got the bonuses. The bonuses is half hash distance uh, to earn hearts with your buddy Pokemon. Increased chance of getting Candy XL when walking with your buddy Pokemon, which is great for me because I need so much T-Tar and Aerodactyl candies to power stuff up. 1.5 candy for hatching Pokemon. Dope. And 1.5 starters for hatching Pokemon, which is also dope because, again, who doesn't love starters? Am I right? Wild Encounters. The following Pokemon will appear more frequently in the wild. Also, for the first time globally in Pokemon Go, you'll be able to encounter Shiny Petalil if you're lucky. So, we got Bulbasaur, Jigglypuff, Oddish, Poppip, Seedot, Cacnea, Petalil, Ferroseed, Spritzy, Swirlix, and Dedenne. So, and the Shiny Petalil is a little off greenish, and Lilligan has blue leaves on it with a lighter shade of green. So, yeah, that's dope. Uh, the encounters I'm going to be going for is Spritzy, because I don't have those. So I'm going to need two of those. I'm going to need two Swirluxes. Petalil, of course. Bulbasaur is cool. Why not? Dot. I'll take another one. Jigglypuff, I can use more candies for. Oddish, I can use more candies for. Cacnea, candies. Dedenne, I would love that. Ferrisseed, I only have one, I think. I think I only have one. Either way, I would love one or two. So yeah, hop it and eh. everything else is cool. All right, so from eggs, we got the Pokemon following Pokemon Hatcher from two kilometer eggs. We got Badu, we got Cherubi, we got Sawaddle, we got Petalil, and we got Bounce Sweep, which is amazing. Some trainers might even encounter Larvesta, which is good because I only hatched one and I had a thousand rare candies prepped for it, but I used most of it on my T Tar to max it out. So Win win situation there. I could have got me a Volcarona, which is one of my favorite fire types and bug types, but Max Now a T Tar is not a terrible thing, especially since we just got Mega T Tar. Alright, explore your local park. A certain Pokemon will appear more frequently in parks each day. Petalil is on August 5th. Hmm, I might have to do like a midnight stroll in my park to get me a Petalil. August 6th is Cacnea, which eh. August 7th is Oddish. Eh. 
And August 8th is C dot. Eh, we had a spotlight out for it and I got a shiny, so not really worried about that one. Field research. The following Pokemon will be available to counter when you complete certain field research stats. You got Tangilla, Roselia, Petalo, and Fungus. And yes, I said Tangilla like that. It's funny. It's like how I say Garot and I'm It's funny. So, um, Fungus, I will always love another one of. Tangela too. Roselia, I can use the candies to power up my Shundo. And Petalo, of course, new hotness. I'm going to be going for that. Time research. Time research will also be available at no cost. The time research will give trainers task focus on exploring and hatching eggs. Yay. More egg event. After we just had one for two weeks straight. Real hash day. Adventure week. And now this. Fun. Please note that time research expires. The time research has in their rewards will disappear Tuesday, August 8th at 8 p.m. local time. Cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. All right, cool. Nice. Dang, that was quick. I didn't think I would breeze through that that quick. All right. Uh, very, very stoked event. A little mini event to get people hyped for Go Fest in New York. So, and for everybody who's not in Osaka and London to have a little something to do. So, all right. I'm going to talk about the nitty gritty. All right. So, um, not a bad event. Not a bad event. I'm looking forward to it. I uh, can use a shiny petalo because shiny petalo is again one of my favorite grass types. So I went mine a shiny and Ferrocid, Cacnea, I can use the candy spore, Roselia, I can use the candy spore, Swirlix, Spritzy, and the Dene, I can use the shiny. So, all right, I'm going to be playing the event casually, of course. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be fun because the real hype is going to be two weeks. Well, yeah, two weeks from then, it's going to be Go Fest New York. So yeah, if you're coming to New York, let your boy know. We'll do a meetup of some sort. We'll hang out. We'll chill. We'll take a picture. We'll maybe do a trade or two. And then, yeah, we just vibe. And it's going to be a fun time. Trust me. It's going to be a crazy weekend for me and everybody else. It's going to be a crazy weekend. So we hope you en- hope you enjoy your stay in New York. And if you have any questions or you want me to go explore some, like, food areas, let me know. I will be happy to do that. Uh, I don't really go out to eat much because I usually I'm in Brooklyn. So Manhattan is like a little like more expensive on the side for me. So that's why I don't really do that. I don't really go out there to eat unless I'm with other people. But if y'all want to see some new places, I'll be down to do some research and go out there and check them out. You know, and more sites to explore. You know, I could probably go back to the park again, but we'll see about that. Uh, I got to see if I can make it out there or if I don't work. Because I request a go fest off and global go fest off, so I'm probably gonna be working a lot. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyways, let me know what you are hyped for for this event because I'm pretty hyped for Swirlix, Spritzy, the Dene, and Petalo because Swirlix and Spritzy have evaded me all this time and I still don't have the shiny. So me getting at least one of each would be great. The Dene would be of course amazing, and of course Little Gen and Petalo would be also amazing, and more Larvesta. I can get more Larvesta candies. Try to get me a Volcarona. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, GoFest season is now here. We are officially less than three weeks away for GoFest. And I cannot wait. And whew, it's going to be a busy weekend. So with that being said, I'm going to head out. Hope you all enjoy the event. Let me know what shinies you get. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. With that being said, keep it up a heart. Keep up a mind. Stay fresh. And I'll see you next time. Peace.